The king, he is hunting the deer. I am coursing myself. They have pitched a toil. I am toiling in a pitch. A pitch that defiles. Defile, a foul word. Well, set thee down, sorrow. For so they say the fool said, and so say I. I the fool, well proved wit. By the Lord, this love is as mad as Ajax. It kills sheep, it kills me. I a sheep, well proved again on my side. I will not love. If I do hang me, in faith I will not. Oh, but her eye, by this light, but for her eye, I would not love her. Yes, but for her two eyes. Well, I do nothing in the world but lie, and lie in my throat. By heaven, I do love, and it hath taught me to rhyme, and to be melancholy. And here is part of my rhyme, and here my melancholy. Well, she hath one of my sonnets already. The clown bore it, the fool sent it, and the lady hath it. Sweet clown, sweeter fool, sweetest lady. By the world, I would not care a pin if the other three were in. Here comes one with a paper. God give him grace to groan. Heaven, proceed, sweet Cupid. Thou hast thumped him with thy bird bolt under the left pap. In faith, secrets. So sweet a kiss the golden sun gives not to those fresh morning drops upon the rose. As thy eye beams when their fresh rays have smote the night of dew that on my che cheeks down flows. Nor shines the silver moon one half so bright through the transparent bosom of the deep. As doth thy face through tears of mine give light, how shines in every tear that I do weep. No drop but as a coach doth carry thee, so rightest thou triumphing in my woe. Do but behold the tears that swell in me, pay thy glory through my grief will show. But do not love thyself, then thou wilt keep my tears for glasses and still make me weep. O oh, queen of queens, how far dost thou excel? No thought can think, nor tongue of mortal tell. How shall she know my griefs? I'll drop the paper. Sweet leaves, shade falling. Who is he comes here? How's Longaville be reading? Listen here. Now when thy likeness one more fool appear, Ay me, I am forsworn. Why, he comes in like a purger wearing papers. In love, I hope, sweet fellowship and shame. One drunkard loves another of the name. Am I the first that hath been perjured so? I could put thee in comfort, not by two that I know. Thou makest the triumvirate, the corner cap of society, the shape of love's tyburn that hangs up simplicity. I fear these stubborn lines lack power to move. O oh, sweet Mariah, empress of my love, these numbers I will tear and write in prose. Who rhymes or guards on wanton Cupid's hose, disfigure not his slop. The same shall go. Did not the heavenly rhetoric of thine eye, against whom the world cannot hold argument, persuade my heart to this false perjury? Thou's for thee broke, deserve not punishment. A woman I forswore, but I will prove 
Thou being a goddess, I forswore not to thee. My vow was earthly, thou a heavenly love. Thy grace being gained cures all disgrace in me. Vows are but breath, and breath of vapor is. Then thou, fair sun, which on my earth does shine, exhales this vapor vow, in thee it is. If broken then, it is no fault of mine. If by me broke, what fool is not so wise to lose an oath, to win a paradise? This is the liver vein that makes flesh a deity, a green goose, a goddess, pure, pure idolatry. God amend us, God amend. We are much out of the way. By whom shall I send this? Company, stay. All hid, all hid in old infant play, like a demigod here sit I in the sky, and wretched fool's secrets lie heedfully o'er I. More sacks to the mill, oh heavens, I have my wish, do main transformed, four woodcocks in a dish. Almost divine, Kate. Almost profane coxcomb. By heaven, the wonder in a mortal eye. By earth she is not, corporal, there you lie. Her amber hair, her foul hath amber quoted. An amber colored raven was well noted. As upright as the cedar. Stoop, I say, her shoulders with child. As fair as day. Ay, as some days, but then no sun must shine. Would that I had my wish. And I had mine. And I mine too, good lord. Amen, and so I had mine. Is not that a good word? I would forget her, but a fever is she. Reigns in my blood, and will remember be. A fever in your blood? Why then incision would let her out in saucers, sweet misprision. Once more, I'll read the ode that I have writ. Once more, I'll mark how love can vary wit. <clears throat> On a day, alack the day, love whose month is ever May, spied a blossom passing fair, playing in the wanton air. Through the velvet leaves the wind, all unseen can passage find, that the lover, sick to death, wish himself the heaven's breath. Air, quoth he, thy cheeks may blow, air would I might triumph so. But alack, my hand is sworn, ne'er to pluck thee from thy thorn. Vow, alack, for youth unmeet, youth so apt to pluck a sweet. Do not call it sin in me, that I am forsworn for thee. Thou, for whom Jove would swear, do not but an Ethiopher, and deny himself for Jove, turning mortal for thy love. This will I send, and something else more plain, that shall express my true love's fasting pain. O would the king, Barun, and Longaville were lovers too, ill to example ill, would from my forehead wipe the perjured note for none offend, we're all alike do dote. Dumaine, <laughs> thy love is far from charity. You may look pale, but I should blush, I know, to be o'erheard and take a napping so. Come, sir, you blush as his your case is such. You chide at him, offending twice as much. You do not love Mariah Longaville, that never sonnet for her sake compile, nor never lay his wreath at arms athwart loving bosom to keep down his heart. I have been closely shrouded in this bush and marked you both, for you both did blush. I heard your guilty rhymes, observed your fashion, saw sighs reek from you, noted well your passion. I me, says one, oh Jove, the other cries. One, our hairs were gold, crystal, the other's eyes. You would for paradise break faith and troth, and Jove for your love would infringe an oath. What will Baroon say when that he shall hear, a faith so infringed with such zeal did swear? How will he scorn, how will he spend his wit, how will he triumph, leap, and laugh at it? For all the wealth that ever I did see, I would not have him know so much by me. Now step I forth to whip hypocrisy, Ah, good, my liege, I pray thee, pardon me. What grace hast thou thus to reprove these worms for loving that art most in love? 
your eyes who make no coaches for your tears. There's no certain princess that appears. You'll not be perjured, tis a hateful thing. Tush, none but minstrels like of sonity. But are you not ashamed? Nay, are you not? All three of you to be thus much er shot. You found his moat, the king your moat did see, but I, a beam, do find in each of three. Oh, what a scene of foolery have I seen, of sighs, of groans, of sorrow, and of teen. Oh, me, with what strict patience have I sat to see a king transformed to a gnat, to see great Hercules whipping a gig, profound Solomon to tune a jig, and Nestor play at pushpin with the boys, critic time and laugh at idle toys. Where lies thy grief, O oh, tell me, good Dumaine, and gentle Longaville, where lies thy pain? And where, my leeches, all about the breasts, a coddle hole To bitter is thy chest. Are we betrayed thus to thy overview? Not you to me, but I betrayed by you. I that am honest, I that hold it sin, to break the vow I am engaged in. I am betrayed by keeping company with men like you, men of inconstancy. When shall you see me write a thing in rhyme, or groan for Joan, or spend a minute's time in pruning me? When shall you hear that I would praise a hand, a foot, a face, an eye, a gait, a state, a brow, a breast, a waist, a leg, a limb? Soft! Whither away so fast? A true man or a thief that gallops so? I post from love, good lover, let me go. Oh, God bless the king. What present hast thou there? Some certain treason. What makes treason here? Nay, it makes nothing, sir. If it mar nothing, neither the treason and you go in peace away together. I beseech your grace, let this letter be read. Our person misdoubts it. Twist treason, he said. Baroon, read it over. How now? What is in you? Why dost thou tear it? A toy, my liege, a toy, your grace need not fear it. It did move him to passion, and therefore let's hear it. It is Bruin's writing. Here is his name. Ah, oh, you horse on loggerhead, you were born to do me shame. Guilty, my lord, guilty, I confess, I confess. What? That you three fools lacked me, fool, to make up the mess. He and he and you and you, my liege and I, are pick purses in love and we deserve to die. <laughs> oh, dismiss this audience and I shall tell you more. Now the number is even. True, true, we are four. Will this turtle be gone? Then, sir, away. Walk aside the true folk and let the traitors stay. Sweet lords, sweet lovers, oh, let us embrace. As true we are as flesh and blood can be, the sea will ebb and flow, heaven show his face. Young blood doth not obey an old decree. We cannot ca cross the cause why we were born. Therefore of all hands must we be forsworn. What, did these rent lines show some love of thine? <laughs> did they, quoth you? Who sees the heavenly Rosaline, that, like a rude and savage man of Ind, at the first opening of the gorgeous east, does not his vassal head and struck it blind, kisses the base ground with obedient breast? What peremptory eagle-sided eye dares look upon the heaven 
of her brow, it is not blinded by her majesty. What zeal, what fury hath inspired thee now? My love, her mistress is a gracious moon. She, an attending star, scarce seen a light. <laughs> my eyes are then no eyes nor I baroon. Oh, but for my love, day would turn to night. Of all complexions of the cold sovereignty do meet as at a fair in her fair cheek, where several worthies make one dignity, where nothing wants that want itself doth seek. <laughs> <laughs> no devil will fright thee than so much as she. I never knew a man hold vile stuff so dear. Look, here's thy love, my foot in her face, see? <laughs> when the streets were paved with thine eyes, her feet were much too dainty for such tread. Oh, vile! Then as she goes, what upward lies? The streets should see as she walked over head. <laughs> but what of this? Are we not all in love? Nothing so sure, and thereby all forsworn. Then leave this chat, and good Peru now prove. Our loving lawful, and our faith not torn. I marry there. Some flattery for this evil. Or some authority how to proceed. Some tricks, some quillets, how to cheat the devil. Some salve for perjury. Tis more than need. Have at you then, affection's men at arms. Consider what you first did swear unto. To fast, to study, and to see no woman. Flat treason against the kingly state of youth. Say, can you fast? Your stomachs are too young. And abstinence engenders maladies. Oh, we have made a vow to study, lords, and in that vow we have forsworn our books. For when would you, my liege, or you, or you, and lead in contemplation have found out such fiery numbers as the prompting eyes of beauty's tutors have enriched you with. A lover's eye will gaze and the blind. A lover's ear will hear the lowest sound. When the gentle head of theft is stopped, love's feeling is more soft and sensible than are the tendered horns of carpet snails. And when love speaks the voice of all the gods, makes heaven drowsy with the harmony. Never hath poet touch a pen to write until his ink were tempered with love's sighs and plant in tyrant's mild humility. From women's eyes this doctrine I derive, they sparkle still the right Promethean fire. They are the books, the arts, the academes that show, contain, and nourish all the world, else none at all in all proves excellent. And fools we were, these women to forswear. Or, keeping what is sworn, you will prove fools. For wisdom's sake, a word that all men love. Or, for love's sake, a word that loves all men. Or, for men's sake, the authors of these women. Or, for women's sake, by whom we men are men. Let us once lose our oaths to find ourselves, or else we lose ourselves to keep our oaths. It is religion to be thus forsworn, for charity itself fulfills the law, and who could sever love from charity? St. Cupid then, and soldiers, to the field! Advance your standards, and upon them, men, hell now down with them, but be first advised, in conflict that you get the son of them. Now to plain dealing, lay these gloses by. Shall we resolve to woo these girls of France? <laughs> and win them too. Therefore let us devise some entertainment for them in their tents. First, from the park let us conduct them thither. Then every man attach the hand of his fair mistress. In the afternoon we will with some strange pastime solace them, such as the shortness of the time can shape. For revels, dances, masks, and merry hours, 
For run, fair love, strewing her way with flowers. <gasps> away, away, no time shall be omitted. That will be time, and may by us be fitted. Alons, alons. So cockle reap no corn, and justice always worlds in equal measure. Light wenches may prove plagues to men for scorn. If so, our copper buys no better treasure.